we'll let you know then we will just continue okay hi everyone today we will just check the worksheet from our last week's homework so everyone please just open it in front of you and meanwhile you can see my white show here <clears throat> There are two different festivals all around the world. As you know, we just started our unit six. It's about all the festivals, all the different cultures around the world. And we were just learning different and interesting ones. We did some listenings. We did some, we just watched some videos. So right now, there are two different festivals around the world in our worksheet. One of them is Snake Festival. The other one is May Day. So these are different because we don't celebrate them in Turkey. That's why we will just see them as a different thing. Let's try to understand it. Then we have some video clips. I will just show you. Okay. So Snake Festival. It's about, <clears throat> you can understand from the title, snakes. Why people celebrate Snake Festival, we will see. So Evra, can you read it, please? Can you start reading from the first paragraph? You can turn your uh, your microphone on. Don't forget that. No question. In English, please. No, it's not an option, you know. Please. Just, just a little bit. Come on. Every year on the first uh, festivals around the world, Snake Festival. Yes. Every year on the first Thursday, Thursday in May, the small village of uh, Kukulo, let's say. Kukulo, in Italy sees thousands of visitors. They are all arriving uh, to see the annual, annual uh, snake festival. The festival is held on uh, Saint Dominic's Day. They, Saint Dominic lived in the town in the eleventh um, century. century. Mm -hmm. At that time, there, there there were many snakes in the village, and many people died of snake bite. Saint Dominic got rid of the snakes. Let's stop and here. Got then, rid of means Saint Dominic killed them. So the snakes were gone okay get rid of means just just you don't use it anymore okay so let's continue um, people of coquilla hold this festival every year to remember him for mm -hmm. some weeks before the festival people collect snakes on them on uh, saint dominic's day uh, they put all the snakes and a statue of uh, Saint Dominic. At midday, they carry the statue and the snakes in a pro procession. Pro procession throughout the village at the front of the streets. At the front of the procession is a band. Yeah. 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 Is a band okay? Just continue. Is a band playing music, music and uh, at the back are women in the costume who give sweets and bread shaped like snakes to the people who are watching. At the end of the pro procession, uh, there are fireworks. Yes, thank you, everyone. Now you can turn off your mic here. As you see, there is a snake festival, people are just celebrating, and there was one important person, Saint Dominic, and Saint Dominic saved people in Italy from snakes. Now, I have a video clip about this, the, the snake festival day. Let's see how people celebrate it, what do they do, and what's going on in Italy, and why is it important. After the video, we will discuss it a little bit. See how the snakes are just on people's bodies. People are holding them. It's like so brave. And this is Saint Dominic's statue. Look, in the past this was Saint Dominic, and there's a statue now. 
And this is a parade, by the way. Remember parade? People are walking on the streets, just celebrating all the special days. And different costumes all around the town and different foods. And Saint Dominic, look, people are carrying him. And real alive snakes are there. And they don't fall down. That's interesting. But this is just their special day. This town, Kukula, is very important because in the past there were too many snakes. And it's speaking in Italian. He's speaking in Italian and just telling how important this day is. And now this person is just happy that there are no longer snakes in Kukulo, like that, okay? This is a festival. Now, let's discuss a little bit. Would you like to join this festival? Did you like it? What do you think? I mean, can you carry lots of snakes, alive snakes like this? Let's see. Let's hear some ideas. So, the Duro, what do you think? Is it fun? Would you like to? Would you like to just uh, join this festival? Did you like it? Duro, are you there? Turn on your mic, please. Ah, yeah, did you like the festival? So much. I don't think. You don't think. Uh, are you brave enough to hold, carry a snake? No. No, you can't? Huh. Uh, maybe it's bad. Mm -hmm. It's bad. What if the snake bites you? What are you going to do, right? Yeah. It's dangerous. So, Defna, did you like the festival? Defna, turn on your mic, please. No, Mr. Lance. No? Hi. Are you scared yeah. of this? Impossible. Impossible. Ah, oh, I see. Cora, are you brave? I think you were brave as far as I remember. Yes, teacher. Ben gider onu öperim. In, in, Cora, in English, please. Okay, teacher. I love um, snakes. You will go to Italy to this festival, huh? No, no, no. Um, Because it's boring. We're just watching. Ah, I know. <laughs> okay, I get that. That was the snake festival. At least we have an idea. Ah, okay. They're very... Current news, everyone, I get it. Yes, it's coronavirus now. You can't go. I know, I know. Here, Cora, I turn off your mic. Here, another festival, May Day. Now, this May Day is a little bit different from our May Day. As you know, in Turkey, we celebrate 1st of May. But it's a different thing because we celebrate workers' rights. Workers' rights. But here... It's a specific country and people celebrate it just for the beginning of one season. Let's read and understand why people are celebrating and it's different from the usual May Day. So Ayla, would you like to read it please? Turn on your mic. Ben çak mı okumam hocam? Ayla, please don't make me sad. Come on. May Day. I need you. Come on. Huh. Uh, May Day, the 1st of May is called May Day in Britain. This is a very old festival held to celebrate the first day of summer. Many mm -hmm. towns and villages still hold traditional May Day celebrations. Some towns and villages decorate the streets and houses with flowers. Mm -hmm. In others, there is dancing and people uh, put up uh, my pole. This is a tall pole with uh, colored ribbons hanging mm -hmm. from the top. The the, sun, the dancers take a uh, ribbon each and dance around the pole. Uh, uh -huh. As as they dance, the ribbons make a colorful pattern around the maypole. Uh, it is also traditional to choose a May queen and crown her. She mm -hmm. wears a um, white dre dress and a crown of flowers, flowers and walks walks certain. Talk at the front door procession. You are doing just fine. Continue. Talk the streets. Uh -huh. In Pelstow, uh, a village in the southwest, two men dress up as horses and everyone follows them through the streets. 
singing mm -hmm. an old song in another village. There is a uh, cheese rolling competition. Mm -hmm. Everyone uh, goes to the top, top of a very steep hill. A big round che uh, cheese is rolled down the hill and everyone tries to chase it. The winner gets free cheese for 20 years. Exactly. So, to get the idea, again, I will just show you one video clip about this how people celebrated and there was one competition cheese rolling competition that's an interesting one let's have a look then we will discuss it again how people roll with cheese let's see look people are on the hill and they are just coming Hocam, down. all right this is this is being recorded all right come on no, it's not, by the way. Anyway, look. People are just going down. And this is a whole piece. As you see, it's circle. You just have to roll it. And you roll it so that you can be the first one. It's in, in England, right? Look, what is the warning? Cheese roll, cheese rolling is a dangerous activity for both participants and spectators. What do you think? Is it dangerous? Adra, is it dangerous? No. No? I mean, how can it be dangerous, right? Uh, the worst thing is you can get injured or you can just uh, fall down, right? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, didn't. Any ideas? Is it fun to watch or is it fun to do it? Which one? Is it fun to watch? But it's fun. Uh -huh. uh, if I go there, um, I probably don't do that. Ah, okay. Why? Why not? Um, it's not difficult, though. You can try it. It can be dirty and uh, oh. you can get injured. Injured, I see. That's a nice point, maybe. Ella, any ideas? Did you like it? Would you like to try it if you visit that place? Probably not. Probably not. Why? Oh it's a bit dangerous that you can get injured, so I, I'm oh. kind of scared. Guys, there are lots of dangerous things in the world. This is not one of them, I, I believe so. But okay, it's your opinion, of course. I respect that. But thank you. Let's continue now. As usual, there are some... You can turn off your mics now. <clears throat> there are some questions, and we will answer them. First one. When and where is Snake Festival held? This held means here, hold the contest. There was an expression called a contest. Here, held is verb three because this is a passive sentence, as you remember. When and where is Snake Festival held? Whose mic is on? You can answer. Amanda, are you there? Answer. Who? Whose mic is on? Okay. Somebody, I don't want to give name, just turn it off. It is held on the first Thursday in May in Italy, right? That was the specific town, Kula, we said, and they held it on the first Thursday in May in Italy. You can note it down on your sheets, worksheets, but if you can't, you can watch the video later, then you can check your answers there, okay? So I skipped that. How did the snake festival start? How did it start? How? How was it? Let's remember. There was Saint Dominic. Saint Dominic is, is saved the town from snakes, and that's why they celebrated because people want to remember Saint Dominic, who saved the town from snakes. That was it. That's how it started, and we saw a statue of him. Maybe he was a very religious and important person back then. Here. 
what happens at the snake festival how people celebrate it let's just remember there were some fireworks what was happening let's remember people collect snakes and put them on the statue of saint dominic they also play music and give food to the people watching that's how they celebrate it as you know teacher i have a question of course teacher and, i'm listening and do they collect the snakes for, from the foresters probably probably how can they live i mean where can they live I mean, um, is yes, this? Yes, but um, the question so should be this correct. How can they collect a live snakes? Isn't it dangerous? Yes. What if I guess, the snake yes. bites you? Yes, I but guess they, they're a different kind of brave. snake, teacher. I know. Not all the snakes are as dangerous as cobra, for example, right? There are different yes. kinds, as you say. Okay. So people collect, we said. Why do British people celebrate May Day? May Day is the beginning of summer, so that's why they celebrate it. This is why important. But in other all around the world, we celebrate to the rights of workers, right? So here they celebrate it as the first day of summer, first of May Day. Right? This is specific to Britain, by the way, in England. <clears throat> here. With this cheese rolling, remember the video? People were just throwing cheese, whole circle cheese, and they want to be the first ones. They just have to be the fastest. This is a competition. So, it's a competition in which everyone tries to chase the big round cheese, which is rolled down. If you can catch that, you are the first one. Or if you don't drop it, you are the first one there. There must be some specific rules for this. So, let's continue with the true-false part. People have the snake festival to remember St. Dominic. I think we answered it back there. We said, yes, this is true, because people want to remember St. Dominic, because he was like a hero. He saved the village. That's why. So, first one is true. Second. People don't collect snakes until the start of the festival. Here, the start, I mean until, is a very specific word here. We should be careful. People collect snakes before the, uh, before the starting of the festival, not until. That's why this is false. Again, many people in Britain decorate streets with flowers for the May Day. This is important. Of course, this is a celebration, and people just decorate trees with flowers for the May Day because it's the beginning of summer, and there are lots of different flowers. Then, here in Padstow, people have cheese rolling competition. What what is the tricky part here? Padstow, guys. Padstow was another village. The rolling cheese competition was happening in another village. So this is false because this village, no, we didn't celebrate it there. People celebrated in another village, okay? This is false. Lastly, the winner of the cheese rolling competition gets free cheese for life. So for life or a specific time. Ella, what do you say? Is it true or false? Ella, turn on your mic, please. The important thing is, is it for life sure. or is it for a specific time? Ella, I didn't hear. Ella, are you there? I'm sorry, oh, I can't sorry. hear. Sorry, huh. uh, I forgot. I said it's false. But ah, it's false. Why? Because they get um, for one year. Exactly. One year I think it was 20 years. 20 years. 20. Yes, that's how I remember. Uh -huh. On the last sentence of the paragraph. Yes. That's okay. why. Okay. okay. Thanks so much. That was the reading part. So far, any questions? Anything you missed? Anything you want to ask?
If not, let's continue. These words are important, guys, please. Normally, if, if we were in the classroom, I would make you write them down because they are important. But let's remember the meanings first, then we can do the activities. Stunning. Stunning means, like, very attractive, beautiful. I mean, you look stunning. Wow, I like your clothes. You look very attractive, stunning, okay? Traditional. You know traditional. There are Indian traditions. There are Turkish traditions. Every culture has different traditional things. That's it. Impressive. When you say impressive, it means like, wow. I mean, it's you, are, you, are, you are, yes, in English, right? You just say, wow. I mean, you are fascinated by this, okay? Crowded. Crowded means lots of people. For example, the United States is a very crowded country. Peaceful. You say peaceful. In nature, you feel peaceful. It's very quiet. You are calm. No problems. Okay? Let's do the activity then. Istanbul is a really global city. There are lots of people out on the streets all the time. Utka, what do you say? Utka, are you there, by the way? Okay, if there is no Utka, I will answer it. Istanbul is a really crowded city. There are lots of people in there. That's it. You can check your homework. If you didn't do your homework, please note it down then. Okay, you can study later. If you want to see the blah, blah, view of the city, you need to go to the rooftop. Rooftop is the uh, uh, floor on the roof. You just climb upstairs and you can watch the city, ocean view, blah, blah. You can just watch everywhere. It is breathtaking. So what do you say, Koray? Mm, impressive. Impressive view of the city. Anything else? Okay. Are you sure? Evet. But I think I think it's not like <clears throat> wow. I mean, it's like beautiful meaning here. Um, I know the Muslim. Um, yeah, stunning and stunning or peaceful. Stunning. Um, no, peaceful stunning. is different. Huh, stunning. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Ben alttakine bakmışım hocam. Okay, Koray, you talk lots of Turkish people will complain about you. Although the kids who perform very, very young, they show global performance. See, kids are very young, but the performance was great. So you are like, wow, what are you going to say then? We will say, impressive. You get fascinated by this. It's impressive. Here. It is blah, 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 to eat special dishes, dishes, foods, which are which are considered lucky at Chinese New Year. So Chinese New Year is a specific culture. So this is a traditional thing. It's specific to one culture. It is traditional to eat special dishes. He said. When everybody is asleep at night, the streets change from being noisy to and quiet. So at night, nobody is on the street, so it's very quiet. So it is very peaceful. Nobody is there. It's very calm. Nobody is talking, right? Peaceful, we said. Now I'm skipping to part B. We will match the sentences. You should remember the expressions we learned in the classroom. For example, dress up for the occasion. Give Presents, right? Uh, have a good time. Set off fireworks. Put up decorations. Or play music. Blah, blah, blah. You, see, you know, you remember it. It's on your notebooks. So I will just open the answer key for this. Because it's about this topic. You should know the meanings. Dress up in some really amazing costumes. Dress up in wearing costumes. And two, give Presents, present or gift. Remember, they are similar meanings. Have a good time, but everybody is here, so we say has a good time. Everybody, he, she, it, remember. Four, it is common to set off fireworks. It was the expression. Five, put up, 
put up decorations, we say. And lastly, play music. You know that. So far, any problems with the words? I think you remembered them because we talked about it a lot in the classroom. So I'm just skipping that part. Now, this part is very really important. Please, please, please put just stars on it. Because we have to memorize the infinitive and gerund verbs. There is nothing we can do. We have to memorize them, guys. You should know which words are uh, which words are infinitive, which words are gerund forms. Okay? That's why I just showed you directly to the answer key because we can so that we can memorize it quickly. Here, would like, like is gerund, but if it is book like. You say to, I mean infinitive to, okay, to go. Infinitive means to, gerund means ing forms. So I would like to go, that's it. But it is difficult. Difficult is an adjective. That's why you choose infinitive. When there is an adjective form, you go with infinitive forms, okay? It is difficult. Uh, it's a nice day to go out, to go out, remember, okay? Just adjectives. We all enjoy. Enjoy is a gerund form again. Enjoy doing something. Enjoy swimming. Enjoy talking. Enjoy reading, okay? Enjoy gerund. For I would love, you can see would here, it's the short form D. Would love to visit. Again, would like, would love, they are all infinitive forms. So you say to. Five, my friend then is crazy about. Crazy about is a preposition, right? About, preposition. And if we see preposition, we always need gerund forms. Crazy about, ing. Okay, skating, we said. Again, same rule here. Good at. Here, at is a, a preposition. That's why you need gerund again. Do that cycling. She has invited us. Invite is an infinitive verb. Infinitive means to, to write. I'm going to suggest. Suggest is gerund. So you need ing forms here. Suge when you see suggest, you put ing to the next word, okay? Saying. In my house and playing. Again, this is about suggest. That's why you say playing here. They are in the same sentence. Lastly, we'll be pleased. Pleased is like you are happy with it. I mean, you are just content with it. That's why this is an adjective. You choose infinitive form. Okay. These are the basic rules. So when you see preposition, you remember gerund. Okay. That's all. When you see adjective, you remember infinitive forms. You should memorize them, guys, okay? You can just make your charts and memorize it. infinitive part or gerund part, okay? Which words go with which parts, okay? Next part is again about this topic. Romeo and Juliet continued seeing. Continue means gerund. That's why you choose seeing. And here, when their parents try to. Try is infinitive. Infinitive means to. Second, we don't need to keep on. Here, on. On is a preposition. That's why you choose ing. This is gerund rule. Three, we should carry on. On, again, on is the preposition. If you see preposition, you choose gerund forms. Driving. Four, Will good food enable people to live longer? Why did I choose infinitive? Because there is enable here. Enable is infinitive. You should memorize it. That's all. Five. I'm going to give up. Up is a preposition. That's why you choose gerund again. Okay? Up learning, we said. Again, next part is about gerund and infinitives so that we can practice more. My friend really enjoys reading because enjoy is gerund. We put ing on the next verb. Two, getting enough sleep. 
is very important for good health. Getting is the beginning of the sentence and sometimes you need ing to formulate a sentence starting with words, right? Getting enough sleep. Three, I think that learning a second language, again, this is the beginning of a sentence and you are formulating a sentence with gerund, this, this rule. It's on, all on your eyes open workbooks, guys. We just studied them, okay? Four, Steven dislikes. Like and dislike. I mean, just like and dislike, they are gerunds. But would like, would love, they are infinitives. Okay, see the difference. There are different. Steven dislikes driving. Jennifer wants, want is infinitive. I want to go. I want to drive. Okay, just two infinitive forms. So three grammar parts were all about gerunds and infinitives. So far, any questions, guys? At least, did you get the ideas? Did you remember them? Any problems? Any questions? I'm listening. You can turn on your mic and ask me if you want. All you have to do is just which word, verb, is for which part? Infinitive or gerund? You should think about it, okay? Now I'm moving to the other part. But I think it's about achieve. achieve. I'm skipping achieve because achieve. next lesson, next session, we will talk about achieve, not right now. Here, there is one last part on your worksheet, and it's about writing. But I can't collect your papers and check your writings. That's why I will just ask you directly. Here, it says, read about Jack's problem and write possible solutions. What is Jack's problem? I think you can relate to this situation right now. Ways to improve my relationship with my parents. Wow. You are all at home with your parents all day. So what are you going to say about this? How can you improve? What is improve? Make it better. How can you make your relationship better with your parents? Any ideas? What are you doing? How do you spend time all together? And here, if you are blah, blah. You shouldn't, or it is best. You can use these sentences too. So I'd like to hear a few ideas, please. How do you spend your time with your parents? How can you make it better? Elif, do you have any ideas? Elif, turn on your mic, please. How do you spend your time with your parents? Um, teacher, I say that. Yes. Um. I read books with my parents, so I cook something with my parents too. Uh, it's funny, I think. I, I like um, this idea, cooking with parents. We have parents. jokes okay. every time, uh -huh. so like that. Uh, that's a nice activity, cooking with your parents. That's my favorite, by the way. That's why I liked it. Nice one. Nice suggestions for your friends, too. Anything different? Do you do different things? Stefna, how do you spend your time with your parents? We are playing Monopoly. Ah, board games. Wonderful. Okay. Um, and do you watch something? Yes. Movies? Movie nights? Popcorn? Movie pizza? I don't know. How do you do it? Okay. Last thing. Korai, I heard your question by I saw your question by the way. Um, there is an easy way. You can always think about prepositions. If it, there is preposition, you should know it's a gerund. You can think about adjectives. If it is an adjective, it's the infinitive. Okay? There are some basic rules. If you know them, you can eliminate the other things. Okay? You can eliminate the other rules. So you should just memorize which ones, adjectives or prepositions, or is it the beginning of the sentence? You can uh, just care about it, okay? And when I when we come back to my question, okay, any ideas, Dylan, how do you spend your time with your parents? How do you make it better? We are playing board games too, but we are playing Scrabble. Uh, oh, Scrabble. Okay. Are you good at playing Scrabble? Uh, not we just try to be. Not. I see. Okay. Any different ideas? Any different activities Me. we can try at Me. our houses too? Me. 
Yes, my, please. My thing you play tabu. Tabu. Ah, that's a good one too. Good one. And you can always. Someone's phone is ringing. Not you mine. can always mine. play tabu too, because you can just tell a word. And you can just use the dictionary if you don't know the word. And yes, it helps you a lot. And I I totally agree. Huh. And play chess. Okay, that's nice. Nice activities, guys. Thank you for sharing all of them. Now, uh, have a nice day. The session is over now. So take care of yourself. See you. Okay. See you.